I'll step up a couple of pounds and fight him. I don't give a shit, mate. I don't care who he is, what he's done. I've got all the respect in the world for David Day. Former undisputed cruiserweight champion of the world. Amazing fighter. But if the truth be known, I don't give a shit. If he's the bitch from Bermans, he can get it anytime he wants. I'll be David Day. He knows what happened when we were sparring together. And I was only a baby. You know what happened. I remember what happened. So let's just do it again. Let's do it for real. Maybe that punch you took in the first round that dropped you brain got scrambled because it looks like you really want to get knocked out by calling me a Bermondsey bitch, talking about knocking me out. You must have lost your goddamn mind. <laughs> so the bitch from Bermondsey has had his say. Listen, I'm 100% serious when I say what I say. It's quite simple. We can do it anytime. Anyone can get it. You've been conning the British public for long enough, fighting lurchers and then fighting these clowns called the more you lend a box with the internet. We can do it. I'm now the best cruiserweight in the world. You're the former best cruiserweight in the world. So let's meet somewhere in the middle. Bitch from Bermondsey, man up. Stop talking on your Instagram. Put your top back on and let's do it. Now he's a guy who's on the high. He's a guy on the guy who thinks he's now invincible. And uh, he wants the biggest challenge by the sounds of things. So you know, he's called me out. Cool, if he wants to, if he wants to get knocked out. Okay, but the good thing, the good thing for him is when he gets knocked out, if we ever do get in the ring and I knock him out, he can always go back down to cruiserweight and say, okay, I'm not a heavyweight. So it's, it's, it's a no-lose situation for him. He fights me, he gets knocked out, he gets a big fat paycheck, and he goes back down to cruiserweight, and may, he may be able to still keep his title after I've knocked him out. I don't know. I've told you that how many times he's making a mockery of British boxing. It's, it's ridiculous. As a person, David's okay. I rate David as a fighter. He's a brilliant fighter. One of the biggest pound-for-pound -pound punches in the world at the moment. He's exceptional at what he does but he's taking the piss. The last two guys he's fought, he wouldn't hire the sparring partners. The last two guys he's fought, I am not shitting you, and I say this purely and honestly, I would smash the two of them in the space of three rounds between them, one after the other. He f Coogs, that, let's just take this into consideration. He done that guy with a jab. Coogan, you could take a jab. Talking about Arnold Gerzes. Whatever his name was, the Cobra. Jesus Christ, it was more like the worm, they should have called him. The maggot. I want to leave my mark on British boxing. I'm fighting that tart, that bitch, that will leave my mark on British boxing. And if somehow Belly manages somehow to beat BJ Flores, which he ain't going to do, then we can talk, then we can talk. Because he, make, he makes a lot of noise. He doesn't make as much noise as Shannon Briggs, but he makes some noise, he makes some noise. So. Um, we'll, see, we'll, see, we'll see what's happening after that. But he needs to focus on Saturday night and not worry about moving up to heavyweight and fighting me. He's got his hands full with BJ Flores. I was getting out and I was going to try and just get to him. I wanted to get in his face, ideally. I was thinking he might try and throw the first one like he did against Chisora. And if he did, my plan was slip to me left and crack him with a left hook. No, I shouldn't say, I'm only joking. But he took some big shots from BJ. He obviously dished them back out. Um, but, you know, I'm a, I'm a different animal. I'm a former heavyweight champion. I'm, I'm probably the hardest pound for pound punching fight on the planet. And, um, you'd get destroyed really, really, really easy, real quick. 
because obviously in the back of my mind he's there isn't he and he's a mouthpiece he's a he's a playboy he annoys me uh listen i've got an, a, a huge amount of respect for his fighting style you cannot knock his fighting style he's probably the most dangerous heavyweight in the world without a belt <laughs> if you were a heavyweight champion of the world you had a belt you wouldn't want to fight him stylistically i really think it's uh so walk in the park. I, 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 he had some stick for me knocking my last opponent down with a jab. I'm confident I'd knock him out with a jab. I'd, I'd go out of my way to chill him with a jab. I'm that confident. It's an easy night's work. But understand me, go past two rounds with that playboy pussy and he is not going to know where they're coming from. Just go past the first two. He can say whatever he wants. I've heard what he's just said tonight. He'll beat me with one hand. Well, you know the last time we sparred, that was a boy coming off, fresh coming off my first ABA title. Mm. And let me tell you, mate, he hit me. Adam Booth was there to witness it. Hit me with the best he had and nothing happened. And he was shocked, shell-shocked that I was still standing. And then what happened in the rest of the spar? He got smashed to bits. He got punched all over the place. Pike Price hit him with the right hand and spun him 360, and he got put on one knee by me. I think the metal fence might have to be rolled out again, <laughs> to be honest. You know, if he doesn't start spitting through it, because he seems like a type of guy. But oh, we'll see, we'll see. You know, once again, congratulations to him. He done well, but you know, I think he might have bitten off more he can shoot, picking a fight with me. Bad, bad mistake for him. Nah, I've got to carry the way. Uh, I shouldn't be acting in that kind of manner to say the first and foremost, but I was provoked. He what? was standing there. Oh. He was saying things to me. <laughs> what did he say to you? He, he was trying to, to antagonise me, Coogan. Antagonise me. He was trying to provoke me. So, just to clarify, you were provoked during the fight where you ran well, over you, to his Coogan, corner. Coogan, let's, no, no, no. Let's stop saying that. Let's just clarify. You seen him at the corner of the ring. And he, he was, was working with Sky. Yeah, no, he wasn't. He was working off Sky at the, at the at, at BJ's corner of the ring with Carl and with Johnny. He took himself over to the neutral corner where I was walking to upon knocking BJ down, sorry, upon bouncing BJ off the canvas, and he was making it known to be looking, saying words to me. I had a quick chat to Eddie. Um, he asked if uh, it would be something I might be interested in. And I said, why not? I said, of course, of course I'm interested. No. I think it's free money. It really is. It's like who doesn't want to be handed a bag of cash to like jab a joker, you know? So it's uh, I jab, as I said before, I knock him out of a jab. I'll knock him out of a jab. If you want to pay me a load of money to knock someone out of a jab, then it's something that okay. Whilst I'm waiting for these world title fights, marking time fight could happen. So I like the fight, yeah, but I will not be bullied and uh, and chastised in negotiations. <laughs> My career does not revolve around him, simple as that. I am WBC champion of the world. I just think, you know, the demands are a little bit pathetic at times, uh, and the squabbling, and, you know. We've got a list of things that I want, okay, ring gloves, change rooms, got a big long list. And when it came to negotiations, the only thing Eddie, Eddie's put his foot down on and really wanted was that it was Eddie Hearn and Haymaker. Promotions presented. It was actually the split. No, well, it wasn't the split. The split was Listen, super I'm, I'm pleased to give you the, the, the No, 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 no. The yeah. only thing you put your foot down on was putting your name first. Because now, once again, you're sticking your face out. It's all about the Eddie Hirsch It's true. I, know, I can't remember your dad, Barry, sticking his face in all of the situations. I tried to watch a Katie Taylor interview the other day. Really interested to see how she was her first fight. Really looking forward to it. She starts talking. You barge her out the way. Ah, here we go. Hammers and pears, you know, jumping around, <laughs> clowning around. It's not the Eddie Hearn show. You should be promoting your fighters. It's about me and David. We're the ones who fight. All these stipulations he's put on. I'm surprised he never asked me to carry him to that seat, into the press conference, to be honest, because there's that many demands and stipulations the ring size, walk into press conference. I need to, you need to be seated when I walk into a press conference. Do you want me to do your hair as well? I, the demands are just unbelievable. Do you know what my demand was? Let me pick my own gloves and get in the ring. Can I wear the shorts I pick as well? I'm surprised they never told me what boots and shorts I can wear. He's unbelievable. The biggest diva boxing I've ever seen. I swear to God, I couldn't believe the demands. I let you talk. I let you talk. I let you talk. No, no, no. I let you talk. But it's about me. You said it's about me. No, no, no. That's what I'm talking about. I agree, but it's about me. You. Listen, pipe down. Pipe down. Pipe down. Pipe down. Pipe down.
that you're still fighting. Oh, I, don't, I don't even need to talk. Everyone knows what's going to happen. Yeah, dude. I'm honestly, sure everyone knows. Everyone, know, that's what you believe. Talking about. That's this fight is all about how long it's going to take it's me about me and to you. put you unconscious. What that's is, it. What are you putting there? You're not you, you, man. You're getting all defensive about, about your, your, your promoter, are you? It's not about that. I told he's already hijacked. He's already hijacked the press conference already. Listen, you turned up and said it's about Listen, if there was a Nazi, think about it. Then shut up. If there was a Nazi Habib. Both you two are putting this guy in such a dangerous situation. Don't worry about you there. I know a lot more situation. about you and your life than the internet can ever explain. Oh, I do, trust me. I know a lot more about you and your life. is irrelevant to fight night. I know your life is irrelevant. I know your life is irrelevant. I just go clubbing every single night from now to the fight. I'm getting it. smashed out of my mind every night. And I'll still knock you out. You've been doing it for eight years. years. You've been doing it for eight years. That's why you're scared. I should turn up. I could just turn up. You've been doing it for eight years. That's why you're scared. Drunk out of your head, you're going to lose my left hand, and you'll get knocked out. But you're fighting me. But listen, you're I'm fighting me instead of fighting the heavyweight champion with the win. You know why you're doing it? For the money. Because I'm the money fight. No, the money fight. I'm the money fight. I'm the money fight. How many tickets you sold to your last fight? Your last world title fight. Me and you are going to sell more than you can fight anybody else. in the ring and sell more tickets than you can. did you sell the old tickets? You were giving them away outside. Listen, you were giving them away outside. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You were giving your ticket to outside. That's a fact. And you was out there trying to wrestle your way in. That's a fact. Of course, Did I you saw? You saw that the O2 on that last two fights. Yes. Yeah, you liar. If I lose to you, yes, I'll need to get struck by lightning on the way. Please, to the no. Ring. Just what are you, you going to do? Gonna it's do not even a consideration. What are you going to do, Dave? I won't even fathom that. No, please. What are you going to do? When I knock you out, I won't stop you. Fathom that stupid when, when idea. You, when you do a happen. silly dance. When I hit you clean Listen, on the head, you probably on, you're not on fast the enough. On you. you don't have the technical ability. You don't have the pedigree. You ain't got anything. Pe you fought a bunch of chumps, and that's it. That comes away. Who weren't no good. You said your mate was going to beat me. Your nightclub buddy. You said yeah, he was going to beat me. Yeah, but he didn't. And that was it. I've let, he's not me. He's not me. He got smashed. You'll see that on March the 4th because I'll what be the winner you? with my hand up. You'll what? be the one getting stretched out of there. How that's why. That's I wish, you'll I, was thinking, you. I wish I was David now. I wish I was David. You know, that's I why. wish I was David. Would, yes, would. Would. March the 4th. We'll ask you when you're I stretched out. Who would you rather be right now? Tony Belly, unconscious. Or David Hayes walking David out David there, moving on to Bellew's his next one. Premier. David Hayes turned up to Tony Bellew's Premier. You and I wish I was you. You're turning up to the yes, Premier. Yes, you do. I'm in. March 4th, you, you really, really, you really wish I really really wish I could punch his boss, David. I'm I wish sure. I really was as elusive as David. You would turn up to the opening of an envelope if there was a camera there. <laughs> You would turn up to the opening of an envelope. You know why? Because you love the cameras. You love fame. You're a nightclub whore. You love nightclubs. That's all you're about. I know how you live your life. I know exactly what you do. Good. You've then you know you're getting your drilled and knocked the hell out. That's not going to get a nice Unders paycheck understand. put on the end of your hospital bed. And so you'll go, me, okay. So, the so what you want to say, mate? I'm doing okay. That yeah, movie sure, paid yeah, well. Yeah, yeah, we'll see. The we'll movie see. paid well. I'm sure it did. The world title fight paid just well. Playing a complete moron, just like well. you are. Like the go, I'm, be yourself. I'm, no, I don't learn any lines. I'm, just go and just say some crazy yourself. crap. I'm yeah, sure, yeah. Yourself. Yeah, good. That's what I We're one of the most established actors in Hollywood. I'm not talking about this. All right, all right. I'm not talking about it. I'm just that I'm just that Hey! Damn you! Leave the boxer alone! Hey! There's no need for that! You fucking absolutely no need for that whatsoever, Damien! We swing them punches now, we swing them punches, no problem. No problem, you put your face on me face. Wanna swing punches, no problem, David, no problem. Get it knocked out. You get it knocked out. That's how I'm gonna swing punches. David, you're attacking me, you're attacking me. You wanna swing punches? Listen, we all live in the street. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Talk, 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 talk. talk. Listen, You're, a You're a chump. You're a chump. You're getting KO. We'll see. We will see now. Want to swing punches? You no, got in no, me no, face, no. I push you off me. You want to swing punches? You punch like a bitch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're yeah, going, yeah, 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 yeah. We're going, we're going. I definitely didn't throw a punch. <laughs> All I remember is him pushing me. I, remember, I just remember him pushing me, so I went and pushed him back. Maybe I pushed him in his face with my fist. Maybe. No, no, I don't know. No, no, I just remember pushing. I remember. I, I, I remember thinking I, I was never. I never initiate unless I really, really feel threatened. And he's he's not that scary. So uh, I was going to be. It's only till I felt his hands connect to me that I did anything. I think I just sort of just give him a little slap around the side of his head. I think that was it. Nothing hard. But if he, if he thinks that's, I heard him say, oh, you punched me. I think if he thinks that's a punch, whoo, he's in for a tough, tough night on March the 4th because I literally just gave a little slap. And, uh, and he, was, he, thought, he felt the power of the slap and thought it was a punch. This guy's in such trouble. Oh my God. He got in my face, he got really close. My, my thing was I was just going to give him a few home truths in all honesty and, and what he'd done is he got right up my face. He was a millimetre away from kissing me. 
his lips like nearly grazed man and, and it's not that kind of party in all honesty you know it's a press conference so I just gently pushed him off me and then he punched me on the side of the head and I was like okay uh, I'm not going to start throwing punches without no gloves on I'm not, I'm not in the business I, I'm a professional sportsman I'm not a not a thug I'm not a brute I'm not stupid and I had no intentions of doing such things I just wanted to get him out of my face it was a shove and like I say to throw a punch on me I'm, I'm, I'm shocked really that he would that he would drag it to them levels but I'll tell you something now the punch hit me on the side of the jaw and if that's the best you've got lad I swear without gloves on you better bring something else because if I hit you without gloves on you'd still be asleep now I've got no intention of doing that I'm trying to carry myself and carry this sport the best way I possibly can okay he fought last time with Danny Bellew at Echo Arena it wasn't even half full I was there I commentated on it it wasn't even half full did no numbers on TV it was free, free to air on the sky. It was terrible. That's what he did. My last couple of fights against people, well, not world title fights, not for any title whatsoever, just me fighting some guy who no one's ever heard of, smashed up, smashed his ticket sales and got record-breaking numbers on, on, on television. So that's the difference between the two of us. Now he's in a fight against myself. Ticket sold out in a matter of seconds. It's the highest grossing fight ever at the O2 Arena. Does that, is that about him? <laughs> no, it's me. Have you ever seen him so shook? Have you ever seen him moving on, twitching on the spot as he comes to a head-to-head? -head? I've never seen him like that. Not even against Del Boy, and he knew against Del that Del was capable of anything at any time. He just, he just looks shook, and I don't know why. I just, I don't know why. You know, we've had a bit of banter, a bit of debate back and forth, and he just, I don't know. He seemed to just take it all on board, and then got pent up when we got close. You think I'm intimidated by that idiot? Are you joking? Have you looked at him? Look at me, look at him. Look at my style, look at his style. Look at my punch power, look at his punch power. Look at my chin, look at his chin. Look at my amateur pedigree, look at his amateur pedigree. Look at my world title fights, look at his. I beat him in every single department. There's nothing he can beat me. He can beat me and he's, he's just going to lose and he's going to lose horribly. I'm going to make sure of that. Just be prepared for hell on March the 4th. That's all I can say to you. And on that note, kiss me ass and stop putting headbands in and put your fucking top back on your helmet. Night night. I'm not actually training to fight Tony Bellew. Sounds crazy. I'm training to fight a heavyweight, someone who's faster than he is, someone who's bigger, someone who's stronger, someone who's heavier, someone who's got a better technical ability. If I train to fight someone of his capabilities, I'd probably go, go to the pub. Honestly, I don't... If I look at... If I try to break down this damn study style, I wouldn't train, I'd be like, what's the point? I could beat this guy in my sleep. I mean, what kind of guy takes himself to Miami over Christmas to spend time with Dizzy Rascal, Chris Eubank Jr., Jeremy Piven and Jamie Foxx? I seen the picture, I was embarrassed for him. At the end of the day, you've got kids at home that waking up on Christmas Day without no pops. He's getting spectacularly knocked out and he's getting carried out of the ring on a stretcher, plain and simple. Sounds dramatic, it sounds horrible, you know, I don't wish anybody any harm and all that. But it's the guy, it's the guy who tells you they're going to jump out of a fifth story building. What's going to happen? He's going to break his legs. Or worse. And he's going to get knocked out spectacularly. Or worse. That's just, a, that's not me trying to be evil or be horrible. It's just the facts of life. Me and him is just, it's just, this is how it is. And I don't think he quite grasps that. You know, maybe, maybe, I don't know. People do some crazy things for money. You see, they read some crazy things for money, and what's the point of having the money if you can't spend it? From a boxing perspective, I've never really in my mind gonna hit someone without boxing gloves on. And that was the only time I was close to putting the chair over his head. That was, that was what was going through my mind. Should they just pick, should they just get off the chair and hit him over the head with it? Uh, once he said that, so it, it just it was disgusting. Man. I'll tell you what, actually, what, what, something that really did that I noticed. Um, Callum Smith knocked his opponent out pretty dramatically and the oxygen came in, the stretcher came in. I looked round at um, Bellew, or Bellend. He started, he, he looked, he looked, he went, see, are you, is that what you want, is that what you want? Like, so I didn't know what he meant, he's like, is that what you want, as in, does, is that what I want to do to him? He looked panicked, because the reality, he saw me, then he saw a motionless body in the ring, and I think reality hit home with him, and he started to panic. He really looked panicked, started screaming, like, ask the press, he was really screaming. So is that what you want, Dave, is that what you want? I'm like, mm, it's not what I want, but it's what's going to happen, you know? And I think, I think the reality really hit home there, he looked super shook. Now, my first concern 
I was happy Callum won, but my first concern was hoping Luke Blackwell was okay because he went down heavy and it was a bad one. His first concern was I'm leaving you like that. That's how he that's how he was going on to me. So you know that's the kind of that's the kind of of scumbag we're dealing with here. My first concern is that kid who's just hit the floor at, at what felt like a hundred mile an hour, and I was just praying to God he got up. His first reaction was, "You, that's going to happen to you." He's horrible, mate. He's a horrible, horrible piece of work. It was business up until this moron threw a punch at a press conference, which was disgusting. He still goes on. It was a slap away. Prick who jumped that ring. Shut up, boy. The man that ring here. Is that just great? Shut up. Jump out the ring and touch Start this. Start I'm gonna finish it. Shush. Grown adults talking now. Shush. Pipe down. Just remember to look after your boy. When he comes back to Liverpool afterwards, make sure all of you guys are there for him because he's gonna need all of your help. Believe me, he will need your help. So be there for your boy. So I'm looking at doing. You want that right, bitch? Now shut the fuck up. The champ is talking, I do come back to Liverpool, but I will never forget where I'm from. I will never forget, not like you, I will never forget where I'm from. I'm broken, my man, you are 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 broken, you will see what a broken man can do to your martial, you are broken, my man, you are broken, you will see, broken, man, you are a broken, I'm a broken man who's going to break your head. You are a That's what I'm going to do. You're not. I'm going to smash not. your fucking head You're in there. You're going to miss. Fuck my You're going to miss. 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 Real scum, scum of the earth, real scum of the earth. That's just that's what he's about. That's just his vibe. Remember I said about that dark, negative, horrible energy. That was what was there. We had like 500 of his crew. Did you smell it? It was disgusting. None of them showered. Ah, horrible. He wouldn't last five minutes in this city, mate. Dude. He's fair cut, no knickers. He's just a moron, mate. He's just an absolute moron who's bleeding everyone around him dry. He just, I just can't believe he'd say the things he said. He's putting fingers up to the crowd. Young kids in that crowd. Just grow up, lad. Grow up, you clown. I can live wherever. I can buy whatever house, any car. I can. I have tons of houses. Kids go to private school. What, how much money do you need to be skint, in your opinion? In up here. You know, I could buy Tony's house a hundred times over. If that makes me skin, I don't know. Maybe skin compared to Floyd Mayweather, maybe. But not for any British fighter, any world fighter. He bragged to me. He actually bragged. He sent Mark Demore to hospital. I said, mate, my 11 year old son could send Mark Demore to hospital, you clown. The man learned to box through YouTube. Now grow up, you idiot. I really hope he's coming with something a lot more than what he was showing. Because if that is what he brings to the table, then, as I said, he's coming to a gunfight with a floppy dildo in his hand. I'd say I'm in the lion's den, but by the sounds of it, I'm in Pink Panther's den because the, the way this pussy's been going on. Oh, I've got this, is sore, that's sore. I'm on a plane. Let, let's just get today over. Today's the last time I'll punch before I hit him in the face, and it's going to be his last day. Let's just hope he doesn't turn up here and go, oh, something's hurting me, something's gone. Nothing's gone. The only thing that's going is your ass. Even if I had one leg, one arm, I'd still beat, I'd still beat Benny. I could beat him with my jab alone, I'd beat him with one hand, one-handed. I told that from the first time I saw him, I'd beat him with one hand. Genuinely. And I could still do that. I might do it, but there might be bets on what punch I knock him out with. 
It's a label that the young kids in that crowd is retards like you label them. It was on, it was disgusting. Listen, he got heckled, he got a lot of stick. Yes, he did. He booed them, yes, he did. Did he expect any less? You know, he got heckled. Put up with it. I've been heckled before today. I went to Cardiff to a man's backyard and got hailed abuse at constantly. Do you know what my response was? My response was to give the guy in the front row a diet plan. That's what my response was. This guy's response is to say that he's been racially abused. He's just pulled the race card out. You're a liar. You're a fraud. You're a fake. A bunch of scum, pricks. And uh, once Tony Bellew's decapitated, they can go and scrape him off the canvas and bring him back to their little mud hut where they're from. Go back, they can save up all their gyros and go and save up and go and look after him. 28 victories, 18 wins by knockout. The reigning cruiserweight world champion, Tony Bomber Bellew. 28 victories, 20 wins by knockout. Two time world champion, David Hay. The two warriors tomorrow night sold out O2 Arena London live on Sky Sports box office. It's Hay versus Billy Slow. The fat guy doesn't look like he can punch. I don't look the very best. I look easy to hit. But you know when they get in the ring with me, Cooks, I'm hard to hit. I'm actually quite hard to hit. And I know it. I just know. And tonight, work mate, everything that the coach planned, it came good. If you would oblige me, Tony, I will do this on your terms. They're his words, not mine. Okay. I will oblige him yeah. if he meets my terms. He said we, we did speak terms last time and I got my pants pulled down. Make no mistake about that. That won't happen again, son. Salt and pepper's on my side of the table this time. And I will divulge it the way I see fit. Bell, you were supposed to get knocked out in two rounds off that, that other guy. But he didn't, did he? He found a way. Hit me with his best shot in the second round. Clean on the button, on the whiskers. Nothing happened. His, his interview after it was, he took the best I had. I couldn't take the best he had. Once again, his words, not mine. Losing a boxing match is painful. Losing anything, losing a table tennis match to someone, it hurts. Um, so yeah, obviously, um, whether it happened or not, you know, remains to be seen. If it's supposed to happen, it will happen. If it's not, it's not. You know, the, the, my first two losses, it wasn't meant to be and I'm standing here today, I'm fine. I, I, never, I don't lose any sleep about it. You just realize certain things aren't destined to be. And if they're not, they're not. If they are, they are. If it is, great for everyone. If it's not, uh, oh well, if we all move on. People rob banks to secure their family. They put their life away. They could get shot in the bank. They could go to prison forever. But they do it to secure their family. That's a, re a genuine reason people rob banks. And when you get away from them, when you rob the bank once, do you go back to the same bank again? When your family is secure, do you go back to the same bank just to get a little bit more money? Maybe. Or is his hatred so bad for the, the clerk behind the desk that he wants to rob some more money? I just can't believe the analogy is just used unbelievable. Robbing a bank, he was just too yeah. happy. Uh, it must be a run out of insults for me or, or nicknames for me. I, I just can't believe he used that phrase, robbing the bank. I didn't rob no bank. I got in a boxing ring, I punched you senseless, and I got it, went home. And, Kiss me kids and have a great night. So, uh, I'm just going to do the same again. I don't know what kind of speech you're expecting from me, but I haven't got one. Uh, December the 17th, I will turn up and I will win again.
So maybe I think he's got a taster for you know the, the, the high life. He's got a few million in the bank now. He wants more of that. He wants to keep his name out. His, his social media following has doubled since he uh, since he fought me. So it's like okay, maybe maybe the the whole thing before the fight is I'm doing this for my wife and three kids. I'm doing this for my family. Well, he's done it now. So now what's he doing it for? I just it's like, it's like okay. I hope he has the same desire because that's the only thing that's going to get him through this fight is heart and desire. And the desire to secure your family is a lot stronger than just putting an extra few zeros in the bank. He's just slipped up on camera over there with Sky. He said, Tony, watch my fight against Tony Belland and then change it to Bellevue. So he's not changed. It's absolutely killed him in that press conference. In David Hayes' whole career, when has he ever once come in and acted like that? Never once in his whole career. Because it's quite humbling for David Hayes. It's killing him. It's absolutely, and when I got up close to them, I said to him, you might have been right after all. The acting lessons have paid off because that was a great act he's just put on and it's ap he was biting his lip when I said it to him. And now I infuriate him. The mere sight of me gives him fits. I know that. I said to you, remember when we was in that round table thing and I said, you could hit me with your best shot and nothing would happen. And he was like, oh, how can you say that? Well, look, I did watch the fight again. He hit me with his best shots on the chin, and, no, and nothing happened. So I'm I'm looking forward to seeing watching the the, the, next, the on on December 18th. I'm looking forward to sitting down and rewatching the fight because you're going to see. I, I've somehow found a time machine, jumped in it and gone back 10 years. I feel that good. He's so fame hungry. It's unbelievable. I mean, Jesus. He's got the audacity to call out Anthony Joshua's name. I've just beat you and you're calling out Joshua. It's unbelievable. I mean, there's a list and it's longer than my arm and you are way at the back of it, so. For those who said I'm scared of him and I'm, oh, you won't face him when he's fit and all that, I've gave him every opportunity. It's gonna be 14 months, over 14 months when I get in the ring with him for the second time. That's how long I've given to be right. You know, I gave him six months to the day from when we announced the fight. That is ample, still enough time to get over to any injury. James, so, I'm showing, I ain't scared. I'm a man of me weird. I said I'd fight him again. I don't think, I think it will 100% go ahead. If for some reason it doesn't, that's the end of the saga with me and him. Hey guys, I'm sure you're already aware that my um, much anticipated rematch with Tony Bellew um, on the 17th of December has been postponed. Um, obviously got an injury in my left bicep, which I had a procedure to repair a couple of days ago and doctors and my physio are very, very happy with how it went and uh, I'll be back firing all cylinders in a couple of months. You guys say it was November, I thought it was December when, when you gave me the call, but I don't know. Uh, I was on my way to the sparring session and uh, Dave refused to let me spar, to be honest, so I wanted to actually still spar even though the fight was off. A lot of different thoughts were going through my mind. In all honesty though, the actual fight wasn't the first one, it was there was still the family issues apart from that. So uh, it is what it is. You know, injuries do happen in boxing. David's been very unfortunate that it's happened to him on a number of occasions. When that bell rings, you're that's when I that's when I feel in my heart that I'm truly alive. So I'm doing everything humanly possible behind the scenes, working with my coach. Um, strength and conditioning coach, making sure that I'm optimal. The now worst now world champion you've that. ever seen was your words. Exactly. The worst world champion you've ever seen. They the exact words. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. This is exactly what I said, and that's how I believed. And come fight night, that didn't work out. It was completely out the window. Tony Bellew bettered me, and that's it. I've got an opportunity, thankfully. They would have, what would have hurt the most is if I would never have had the opportunity to, to right what I believed was the, what, was the wrongs. But here we go, May 5th, you know, Tony Belly, I believe, is going to be in better shape. His coach, I'm, not, I'm fully aware of the, the situation he had he's put in his personal life prior to that um, aborted fight. So everything happens for a reason. One thing I can be sure of is Tony Belly will be better than he was the first fight, as he needs to be, and so will I, because I need to be as well. But now all of a sudden it's this humble approach and then Maz... It's the real, you humbled me. You humbled me, Tony. I did not. You humbled me in that Adam, ring then. It's Adam, you had Tony, your hand raised, that you humbled happen. me. That didn't happen. Yeah, so he's telling me... One. It, it, it just, that didn't happen. You we won the fight. I lost. Of Look course. at Boxrec. I lost yeah. the fight. You won the fight. You humbled me. You beat me. You took my best and you dished out yours and the towel came flying yeah, in because you were the better man. On the 
I don't know what more I can say about that. There's you better me. This time round, I believe it'll be different. This time round, I believe. But then again, I believe the first time. I no, can't understand how there's a big, com there, there's right? a complete flip round, a switch on not just the fight but everything. You what's caused happened? the flip round. You caused what, it. What's happened? Aren't you happy with that? You said you wanted to humble me. Eddie's humble apples and pears, mate. The last time I looked, you was on the comedy channel saying apples and pears. Now you're coming on this bill, demanding to make fights that you should make on your own channel. You want to make Del Boy and, and, and Joe Joyce over there. Why don't you stick it on your channel? Why do you want to stick it on our bill? Because we've got to pay for it. Is that why you want to stick it on this one? Derek Chisora doesn't want to do it on that one. It, it's not about Derek Chisora, it's about you want to get your fights out there because they get seen by about 25 people every time you turn on Dave. You're not going to do it this time, Tony. Tony. I'm not taking the bait, son. I'm not taking it. I took it last time. I allowed you to do it last time. I don't need you to take the bait. I can't be bothered. I don't need you to take the bait. I'm going to go to the gym right here and I'm going to train. Same as me. great shape. The same as you did last time, David. The same maybe, as you last time. You changed, you changed brilliantly last time. To into my psyche, you whip, you whipped it. your top off. You look fantastic. You're gonna whip your top off. You're gonna look fantastic again. Nothing's changed for you physically. You're an amazing athlete. You're always going to be that. That's never gonna change. I love you, Tony you Belly. Don't. I love you. you don't. I do. You I absolutely. Love you. I love you. I love you. Thank you. It's I not do. new though. I've, got posts I've had hair since I was born. Seriously, I, I'm crushing you, really. It's not new. I've always said you're beautiful. I mean, I've told you this for many years. You're fantastic. <laughs> Well, I'm still gonna punch you real, real hard, and, and a lot of times, you listen, you're, Let's do it. Let's I've do always it. told you, you're oh, a brilliant. I have never changed my opinion of you once. It's always been the same. Great. You're a brilliant fighter. My, my opinion has changed. My opinion Why? has changed. Why? Beat me. March 4th, you beat me. You had your hand raised at the end of the night. You beat me. So, obviously, my opinion. If I, if I wouldn't have changed my opinion, I'd be an idiot. Playground, tit for tat. You said, well, you said this, and I said that, and both. But yes, one year ago, you was like, oh, really? Does it matter? Does it really matter? Who cares? You know. So let him, let him, let him wind himself up. It doesn't bother me if he gets involved or if he doesn't. If you, if you, you know. Ultimately, when the bell goes on May the fifth, he will engage me because he has to. So it, it is what it is. Just it doesn't bother me. I just, you know, he. he makes points or he says things that I don't think he really thinks through. That was such a huge favourite for the first one. It wasn't considered a competitive match. It was considered a fight where two guys didn't like each other. That's what he was watching the grudge, not watching it for a Gatti Ward type of experience. You're watching it for just something might crazy might happen. This time round, people know it was a great fight first time. And they're hoping it's gonna get the same thing again. So we don't have to sell it I don't have to slap him or he doesn't have to say this or that. The fight, the first fight sells the second fight. So I can relax, I can train, I can wish him well. Train well, Tony Belly. Remember, I, I love you. Losers against Vladimir Klitschko. I've got a sort of toe. As embarrassing as it is, I mean, just why didn't you just come out and say you're not big enough and good enough? No shame in losing to the bigger, better man. No shame at all, but to come out and blame a little toe is just unbelievable. He, he wants an argument with anyone. He'd have an argument looking at himself in the mirror. He's just a, he's an argumentative type of guy and he likes to, you know, argue about, I remember he was trying to argue about a corner, like a red corner, blue corner, neutral corner. He was trying to argue with me about an, a corner and I'm thinking, what's, what's, he's just, he's just a guy. I, I'm not going to engage in any of his arguments. I'll let him, let him argue with himself. He's retiring anyway, on May the 5th. I'm going to retire him. He has no say in this crew. The minute he signed the contract with the first light, his career was over, in my eyes. First up, the former unified cruiserweight champion of the world and the former heavyweight champion of the world, the one and only David Haymaker Hay! And from Liverpool, he won the WBC Cruiserweight title here in the city. He then shocked the world, defeating David 
last year in London. He is, of course, your very own bomber. It's Tony Bellew. Okay guys, take a seat and let's get this party started. Here we go. David Hay, Tony Bellew. <laughs> I was expecting a bit more than that. Come on, come on. Welcome, welcome Liverpool. Thanks for coming out. Um, Last, last time around, I was a bit angry. <laughs> Just show this gobshite a little bit of decorum or that we listen. We're good people. From up here, mate, we're good people and we're honest people, unlike the lion scum that he is. So let's just show him that, people. My speed time is back. I'm fast and sharper. Just like last time. Go back. Just Go like back. last time. I'll make a 2.0. It's 10.0 this time. 10.0. <laughs> <laughs> must be 25.6. 62.9. You made more comebacks than fucking Bruce John McLean. I have. And this time is when it all, uh, cl this time is when it all clicks together. But the sad fact of it all is, David wants to fight crabs and little fatties. And the bad thing is, I fall into that category of little fatty. I can accept it. Like I said, I'm a realist. I'm not a fantasist. David is living in fantasy land if he believes he can become undisputed every champion of the world. Because on Saturday night, David gets his ass smacked and put back in his box. And that's how it's going down. I just interviewed him now. He says you're punch drunk. That's nice of him. Yeah, I, I don't think I've ever missed a word. Have you ever known that before, Coogan? I don't think Sky Sports think I'm punch drunk when they're asking me to be a pundit, so I, I'm doing okay. Tony Belly is Tony Belly. Um, he's an uh, effective cruiserweight. But at heavyweight division, he's got no place in the heavyweight division. And uh, I'll show you how a world-class heavyweight deals with a world-class cruiserweight. You'd have no call for Hey Belly three. <laughs> Believe me, there won't be. No one, no one's gonna want. No one's gonna want to see that after what I do. Um, so this will be the end, end of that chapter. It'll be a fun chapter, but the end of the chapter. I'm not the same man I was that I faced along with Macaulay. Actually, you got better as you got older. I got cleverer as I got older, didn't get better. Clever, better, maybe way you look at it. Nah, more nah, experienced, nah. more teeth tough. See, just so I'm 90 years old, they can be the best fighter I can possibly be because I have so much knowledge that, you know, Einstein, uh, it's ridiculous, David. Don't I'd, I'd agree to disagree with you on this one then. I'm sure you would, mate. You would agree to disagree. That's all you have to do, mate. You can't hold a conversation with me. <laughs> 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 Oh, yes, again, right. Make them after lessons are definitely not working. You need to work on the craft. If you want to be an actor, you need to work on the craft. I mean, not the worst fake laugh. You hurt my feelings in time. You really hurt me, yeah. I don't need to hate you, mate. I'm, I'm going to do that Saturday night. Hurt, yeah. I'm going to do that Saturday night. Relax. It's going to be fun. Enjoy. 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 Enjoy me 15 minutes again. No, it's going to be. Longer than 15 minutes. Longer no, no, you said to me last time, enjoy your 15 minutes of fame. This time I'm saying enjoy the so whole time. 30 minutes. Enjoy the 36 minutes we're going to have. Really, so you've just told me you're going to stop me, so I'm just going to go 36 minutes. We'll, we'll see, here we go. We'll you make your mind up, you're a walking contradiction. Up to, up to 12 rounds. This is boxing, yeah? Enjoy that time. Really. It's not going to last 12, in my opinion, either. Okay, then there you go. So, you know, we'll see. I just, I just wanted to happen. Let's bring them head to head. Thanks very much, guys. Face to face, please. Guys, guys. I'll put your face on me. I thought you'd leave it.
What happened is he just got a little bit too close, James. He put his head on my head and he kind of pushed it ever so slightly and his lips were on the verge of touching mine. And in all honesty, it ain't that kind of party. I'm not down for kissing other men. Not that I'm saying before the PC brigade come out and start uh, finishing me for saying that. My younger brother's gay, so I've got no problem with that. Uh, but I just, it's not for me, you know. I, I'm a... Uh, it's just not for me, mate. So, you know, I'm not going to kiss me. I just wanted to move you out of my space a little bit. That was all. I've got that feeling again. It's like, one more day. I'm looking at how many days, how many more sleeps is it? And it's like, two more sleeps. Ah! It's really, it's just, that's a real nice, it's a nice feeling. I can't wait to get out of there. It's like, I'm such, I'm some like, everything's just, everything's perfect. Tune in Saturday night uh, and just watch me put it all on the line. Because someone like me just, just does not want to stop. I just, I'm fighting. Ain't nothing stopping me, mate. Saturday night, let's go to war. I can't wait. What happened in the first fight isn't happening in this fight. And it's only going to go one way. You can either, he's either going to get, no, you'll, I don't want to start giving it away, but it's going to, very quickly, you'll be like, oh, okay, this isn't quite what we thought it was going to be. And he'll think that. The, the one thing they hope it's not going to be, is going to be. The one, the one thing that they're banking on, my body breaking down or my time and being out or not quite what I once was, fighters don't get better as they get older. Mm, okay. Keep banking on that. David. Haymaker, hey! <laughs> 28 victory, 26 by knockout. Two-time world champion, the Haymaker, David Hay. Tony Bamberio! Here they are, face to face, the Haymaker, the Bomber! 12 rounds of boxing at the O2 Arena, London. It all goes down tomorrow night. Are you ready? Basically, I was just saying to Bellew, I'm going to make it slow. I'm not going to let him off with a quick... Knocking him out quickly in the first couple of rounds, it'd be a bit of a... He wouldn't have earned his money. I'm going to make him earn his money tomorrow night. You know, I earned my money last time out. He's going to have to earn his money this time. I'm not going to let him off with a quick knockout and you can say, oh, anyone can get it on the chin. No, I'm going to break him down slowly. Chop, 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 chop. Bust him up, break him up make him quit. Yesterday when I looked into his eyes he pushed me away so I didn't get there was no real gauge. This time round it's the first time I've saw fear. It's the first time I've ever seen fear in Tony Belli's eyes was today. Looking at it then he started yapping and I just said I'm gonna make it slow. I'm gonna make it real slow and painful for you. You're gonna have to show your heart. Dickheads, losers, you're only by the computers. We talk about Houston, or you're lying like Lucius. I used to run man down in my nights, now I just do it in my pumas. I don't even care about the fight. It's just another fight, I don't care. Did it, was it good? Did it do well? I knocked no one knocked him out, but I always knew I'd knock him out. All I can think about is the last eight months. You know, it's just shit, man. Life's just a mess, but people think it's all glitz and glamour and money and go I don't give a fuck about it. I'd have done that tonight for free. I really would. I just don't care about nothing anymore. Final one. Do you think we'll see David in the ring again? I hope not. 
begged him as soon as he came over to me and grabbed hold of me. Begged him to stop. Begged him to stop. I've had a fantastic run, 27 years in the sport, 16 years as a professional, 32 fights. Um, but it's time to call it a day. It's time to throw in the towel. It's time to hang up the gloves and retire as a professional boxer. So as of the 12th of June 2018, I am no longer a professional boxer.